one of the largest earthquakes in Mexico on record. An 8.1 earthquake rocks Mexico. This is just days after the X9 solar flare. This isn't far from the hurricane, the Gulf of Mexico. Now we have two other hurricanes, Hurricane Jose, Hurricane Irma, as well as massive wildfires in the northwest and west coast. What in the hell is going on? Rex Bear Leak Project, this is just a quick update. I had several emails this morning saying, Rex, take a look at this. There is a major earthquake, and this is a major earthquake. An 8.1 is insane. Chiapas, Mexico, 11.49 p.m. last night. Now, look at all these other earthquakes after that. A 4.7, 5.2, a 4.8. A 5 5.0, 5.3, 4.9, 5.2, 5.2, 5.3, 5.7. 5 Dozens of aftershocks. Is this a sign of things to come? Are they going to get worse before they get better? Are we going to have more earthquakes? Is this linked any way, shape, or form to the solar eclipse? Is it linked to the hurricanes? Is this weather manipulation? I saw some video footage, you guys, of some crazy lights that went off in the skies before this earthquake. My question is, could this be foul pay? Foul play. Nanny, nanny. Could this be foul pay? <laughs> We're going to pay you with earthquakes. Because you... Anyway. This is showing you that there has been 34 earthquakes in the past 24 hours in Mexico. 51 in the past seven days, 133 in the past 30 days. Now, my question is, what happens to Yellowstone? Is Yellowstone next? There's that gnarly... Let's take a look at some of these projections. This is over three dozen projections on Hurricane Irma. Now, the other hurricane, as you can see right here, Katia. I say that right? Katia. It's heating up right around here. And then just on the other side of the land mass here, right around down here, was that huge earthquake. And 8.1 is no joke. And look at the latitude of these three different storms. Now let's take a look at Antarctica. The jet streams are a trip. Looks just about as mad down there. Not quite. When you see a red eye like, like this, jet stream, that is intense. It's, it's cooled down a little bit. Let's take a look at the current tropical storm force wind speed probabilities. Now, I need to make a correction. Thank you for correcting, uh, correcting me on this, you guys. These boxes down here don't show the wind speeds. They show the wind probability that the speed will be over 39 miles per hour in that vicinity. So thank goodness. Otherwise, that means Florida would be hit with 90-mile-an-hour winds like half the state. So, yeah, my mistake. Thank you. <laughs> Although it's not looking good. I mean, you got Jose coming in right behind Irma. Acadia down there. Let's do this. Let's take a look at the 50 knot. Okay, so this is showing you the chance of 58 mile an hour winds. And it looks like there is a 50% chance or more that half the state of Florida is going to be covered in 58 mile per hour winds. Now that's intense. Not intense enough to rip off of a heavily fortified roof, but it'll, it'll cause some damage. That'll certainly cause some damage. And look at how far inland that goes. And then it's going right up to Georgia. I have friends in Georgia. Then Tennessee. It's also showed it hitting Tennessee. I'll show you this. Let's look at the wind history. 
Oh, man. That's a massive spermy right there. It's fertilizing all the islands. Hello! Now, it looks to me like it could roll on in between Florida and Cuba still. And if it does that, then what? Is it going to bounce around like a ping pong ball? And then pinball machine or what about a pinball and a pinball machine catch up with Cadia and then turn into a super duper storm nah that's just fear mongering that ain't gonna happen let's hope not let's see here take a look at this this is showing it's trajectory, its path. Let's call it a trajectory. Projected path and trajectory all intertwined in one word. Well, it looks like it's hitting the heart of Tennessee. It's going through Georgia, Alabama, possibly. Definitely looks like it's hitting Florida. Question is, is it going to go on the inside or on the outside? And what in the heck is going on in Mexico? Any pictures, footage, if you're in the, the heart of this catastrophe, if you have an opportunity to send in some images, or if you'd like to come on the show and share your information, it would be an honor to speak with you or get that intel. 8.1. Is Yellowstone next? Yellowstone is at a near all-time high for earthquakes in a year. It had more earthquakes in a matter of 90 days than it has in, in multiple years previously. Be safe. Subscribe. YouTube.com slash clandestine time lord. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Go to leakproject.com, subscribe there, you'll get access to over 1,200 podcasts, downloadable, streamable, ad-free, dozens exclusive at leakproject.com. Question everything, be safe, be prepared, and be the change you want to see.